What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Tony. Welcome. If you want to join the foodie fam, you just have to hit subscribe. Why are you making it complicated? It's easy. So in today's video, we're going to be testing some TikTok viral food hacks. All right, so for the first hack, we're going to need a lemon and a skewer. Okay, so supposedly all I'm going to need to do for this hack is basically get the juices going. And then all I'm going to need to do is to poke a hole. I don't know if you guys can see it. But yeah, I'm going to poke a hole in this. And get that in there, wiggle it around. Okay, that seems to be good enough. And then I'm going to be able to squirt the lemon juice directly into this. <laughs> okay. So that's clearly not working. Hold on. Let me try this again. Okay, nothing's happening. And I don't even have any lemon juice coming out of this. All right, guys, so this one was a fail. I thought it would have been easy because, I mean, can you guys hear that? There's juice in there, but nothing's coming out. All right, so this first half was clearly a fail. When everybody else was doing it, it looked pretty easy because they were just squeezing away, but I don't know. My lemon doesn't have no time today. My lemon is not with it. So, unfortunately, this hack was a fail. Now this next hack, I know you guys have seen all over Instagram as well as TikTok. This one went viral maybe two or three months ago. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I've been killing this one. I've made it like a million times. And it's basically a quesadilla hack or a burrito hack, I guess. I don't know, but either way, it's quick and easy and it's very good. All you're gonna need is some tortilla wraps. You're gonna need shredded cheese. You can use veggies or meat, whatever you prefer. And you're also gonna need some pasta sauce or tomato sauce and you got yourself a meal. Okay, so for this hack, all you're gonna wanna do is to get your wrap then you're going to cut it just down one side. That way it looks like that. Now you're going to fill all four corners of the wrap. So on two sides, you're going to have your pasta sauce or your tomato sauce. Just like that. Then if you're gonna use meat or veggies, whatever, you're gonna add that on there. And you can put it on whatever side you want. I'm customizing my own because you can literally do this any way you want. And then on the other corner, I'm gonna put cheese. And I'm using Parmesan cheese because I'm trying to make mine like a little pasta wrap, I guess. <laughs> Now all you're gonna do next is fold it together like so. And if you did this right, it should end up looking something like this. Now we're gonna melt a little butter in a frying pan. Because we're gonna fry it up a little bit and give it a little color. Thank you. 
Ooh. Okay, so this is the end result. So if you did it right, you should get something that looks like this. But you know taste is different than looks, so we gotta try this out to see if it tastes just as good as it looks. Mm-hmm. This was good. All right, for the last hack, we're going back in the fridge and we're gonna need cookie dough. Okay, so for this hack, we're using cookie dough to make cookie cups and we're gonna be putting ice cream in them. Kind of like those ones that you get at restaurants when you go out as a, like a dessert. So, I mean, I don't think that should be too hard because you're gonna mold it to the shape of the muffin pan. And by the way, you are gonna need a muffin tin. And that is what's gonna help keep the shape. So I already had cookie dough. I wasn't trying to buy no more cookie dough. So I'm just gonna use what I have. So basically I'm gonna take the cookie dough that I have. I'm gonna roll that up. And then use a spoon and spread it to form the shape of a cup. I never took pottery class, so I don't know what mine's gonna be looking like, but hopefully this turns out exactly as it should. I mean, it can't be too hard because when I was watching those videos, I saw little kids doing this, so. Okay, so I got my two cups molded in the pan. And from the looks of things, I think I did that right. So hopefully they come out just as they suggested. I didn't spray my muffin pan, so I'm hoping that that's not a huge deal and that they don't stick, but from the looks of things right now, I think I did this pretty right. And now I'm just gonna put it in the oven for 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so these did not turn out like I expected. These look like some cupcakes that are missing their tops. Now, you guys saw the video, so you guys know how they were supposed to look, but yeah, these did not come out how I was expecting. All right, this ain't it, you guys. This was supposed to come out looking like a cup that I could put some ice cream in, but yeah. I don't know where I went wrong along the way, but this looks like a crumbled up cookie. So yeah, sucks for me, but this one was an, but this one was a complete fail. Now I'm not gonna let this go to waste. I mean, a cookie is a cookie, so I'm still gonna add some ice cream to this. All right, you guys, so this last one was a bust. My cookie cups did not come out like cookie cups. I just got some cookies crumbled up. If a cookie and a cupcake had a baby, this is what it would be, like a cookie cake, I don't know. But I'm not gonna let that go to waste because it still looked pretty good and smelled good too. Mm-hmm. So I'm just eating my crumbled up chocolate chip cookie with some ice cream. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys, that's it for this video. So clearly, these TikTok viral videos were a no for me. I got one out of three to work. And when I'm watching these TikTok videos, they make it seem so easy and so simple, but didn't go in my favor today. But that's all right. I'm still gonna be on TikTok because we ain't got anything else to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below if you guys have tried any of these and if it did or it didn't work for you guys. Or drop some comments down below letting me know videos that you guys tried that worked. Maybe that would be a better angle because clearly, it ain't working for me. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized as usual, and I will catch you guys in another video. Bye, guys.